Yeah, okay. And then we also have, like, the three sort of things yeah. that you might want, but not exactly. Okay. Um, well, these are three optional ones if you really decide to go public. Um, we have them just because they're cool and stuff, but you don't, you don't really have to. So, so let's say, because the first one is called Chest Enforce, so let's say you have, you know, a sound comes on your server, decides to x-ray, and they end up with a chest full of diamonds and stuff. So then what you can do is have Chest Enforce, and every once in a while you have an admin come on the server, and they do a search, and, you know, inside of the config file, the configuration file for this plugin, you can put in file IDs and the maximum number someone should have in a chest. So right now, it's at the default for us, and if there is a chest with more than nine diamonds, it will set, it will let us know. So you oh. type in the command. Oh, damn it, Johnny. It's okay. There's another one over there. There's another two. <laughs> so put them in there for me. Just, yeah, okay. So let's say, you know, admin wants to do a search. So it searches. Every time someone opens a chest, it adds that chest to that list. So, and every time someone puts down a chest, it adds it to the list. So there's impossible to like hide it by any way. And yeah. it doesn't matter how far away it is, it'll pick it up. So slash search chests, and it tells you which world it's on and its location. So over here, you know, so I'm looking at this and it says found 64 diamond at showcase being the, our world and then its location. And if you want to get to it, um, it's, TP location or no? Yeah, or you type in the command for teleporting to uh, the location. And another thing back on essentials is if you want to look up command, you type in slash TP help slash help space what you want to look up. Like I want to look up the teleport commands, so I do slash TP space uh, slash help space TP, and then I can see all the commands that have TP in it, and that's the one I wanted. So position. And let's do a chest search again. And I want to go to the chest that it shows that has 64 diamonds, because they shouldn't have it. So TP position negative 275, uh, comma 69. Oh, it looks like it's our backup plugin started doing its scheduled backup. Yeah. So as long as you see that, you know it works. And then the Z would be 333. Three, three. So yeah, tele I teleported, and this chest has 64. Yeah, it doesn't check any of the ender chests, so that that's one thing you might want to. Maybe you should consider. About. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, do there are other plugins to block ender chests though. Yeah, probably. So, the other um, and another one of them is vanish no packet. It's a like good um, watching plugin. So if you're looking at John, so Johnny, look at me. Mm -hmm. So he's John, he's looking at me, and I use my uh, vanish command. And you see him poof, like literally. Yeah, that's manageable through the permissions you give people. So he puts down things, but by the end, so what it works is like you give certain permissions to yourself, being the server owner or admin. Uh, which disables certain things like picking up or, um, you know, like other things like picking up or, you know, when you walk next to a monster, they won't see you and the person can't see you either. So it seems like you're never, you've never been there. But you can, and you, but you can break things still and you, yeah, and using the uh, um, permissions again, you can set an effect so you can make an explosion just a little smoke or even a lightning strike where you're standing when you want to disappear or reappear. Um, so I became visible again and there's a little poof of smoke Yeah. and I can pick things up again. Um, I, yeah, I can pick things up again. Then our last plugin would be iZone. Yeah. Uh, so iZone is a well, it's a zone setting, you know, to so which um, protects, lets people protect their own house or 
a certain zone, and within the configuration, you can set what the max amount of blocks that can be the range of the zone. So if we go back to, since this is just a separate world, if we go back to the main world, let's see, go to, um, so we're back at uh, my world, our original. Let's set it to weather, sunny. Let's teleport you over here. Oh man, I was killing all the villagers. Come here, okay, so this is, we've marked this zone with, um, you know, just a red boundary. Johnny can come in here because, well, of on the course, list. He's, yeah, so he's accepted on the list, but if you, so Zmod info, and then, so this zone, we're calling it castle, so with this, there's, uh, well, the available protection flag, so Zmod help to see the commands, or, uh, Slash Z, uh, slash Z mod to see the commands. And then flag castle. Da, da. It should should have list. Oh, Z mod list. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So that tells you what your all of your uh, zones are. And you can just create a zone with a setable um, wand sort of thing, kind of like world edit. So you can set an item to be a wand in the configuration. And you set a zone. And you can allow people into your zone, as you can see here, allowed. And you can set flags to protect certain things. So right now it has protection, meaning that anyone not in this list um, cannot break it. Monsters don't spawn within the zone. While you're standing in the zone, there's healing. Um, player versus player is disabled in here. Creepers can't do anything. But in the beginning, creepers can do anything anyway because of um, world guard. But this is, if you don't like World Guard, you can just protect from creepers in certain areas by doing this. Um, you can say no TNT, explosions, fire. Restriction and um, jail are two uh, flags, but they're pretty much like exact opposites. So restriction, if you weren't on the list, whenever someone tries to walk in, they're blocked. So um, I'm so going to... if you demote me... Yeah, I'm a disable oh, Johnny. So I'm here now, but if I leave and you demote me. No, no just be outside for a second. Yeah. Drift King. Okay, so try walking in, Johnny. So Fail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. Just allow Johnny from the Drift King from the castle. I'm gonna DOP you also just in case. Yeah. Okay, so how about now? Okay. Nope. Yeah, it says this is a restricted zone, and it pushes me out. Like so that. with restriction, people can't enter your zone, and with jail, people can enter, but then they can't get out. So that's why. I mean, so if you're setting a jail, like we have set over here, um, you know, once the person gets in, they, even if they manage to break anything, they can't leave that spot anyway. So. Yeah, and then they, they their game mode changes and everything. You can set that. Oh, I want to set. I'm gonna jail you, Johnny, just to show the jail, which is managed by essentials. So slash jail, the drift king. Uh, the drift king jail name jail. You may not jail that person. <laughs> I'm not OP. That's weird. Um, it's because of your oh. So also with um, what's it called? With group manager, you can set a person's like. Um, stop throwing diamonds. You can set a person's uh, like group through the game, which is also something that's nice. So, so the Drift King, and I'm gonna demote him from admin to builder, and that should let me jail him. Yeah. So he says jailed. that you have been jailed, but this is a restricted zone, so it didn't exactly work. I'm still here. Restricted? Yeah. I'm still here though. Slash. I'm not, I'm not inside. Info jail. Oh, I see. Because oh, it's I'm in here, and my now. game mode changed. So, so with Z mod, we have it set so that it sets the game mode to survival. So if for some reason they had, you know, it's a hacker, and they had something, you know, then um, like that they got into creative mode. Now it sets them to survival. Uh, so for example, for the flag though. I don't like oh, how... I can't break anything in here. 
So I want to disable the flag that does restriction in the jail because, well, we don't want them to not be able to get in. We want them to only not get out. So slash flag jail and restriction. Mm -hmm. And they toggled the restriction flag off so that people can enter the jail somehow on their own. But, you know, if you wanted to. We but now I can't even shoot in here. My bow. So he's disabled from absolutely everything, clicking, breaking, shooting, and he's been jailed. So if he tries to talk, try talking. So he can talk, but I don't think he can do commands. It'll block commands. Slash home, try that, home. Yeah. It blocks all the commands. Yeah, it blocks everything. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't. No, slash spawn doesn't work. Yeah, so look. It is simple, but oh, whoa, a chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Is that it? Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Well, yeah, so if you guys want any of these plugins, check the description. Um, they're all well, on. Bucket's website, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, this is a bucket server, so they're all bucket um, yeah, so, plugins. Yeah, they're all they're all updated for 1.3.2. They all work. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, should yeah, that's we much it. hold on? Wait, should we talk about the offline server plugin, the one that manages like? Yeah. The, okay. Why not? Yeah. Because so, I'm guessing a lot of people want that. So um, there's. If you're running an offline server like we are to let our friends who don't have Minecraft because they're cheap. Well, yeah, because they're cheap. <laughs> that, you know, so but if you run an offline server, people with hacked clients can just set their name to whatever they want and come on. So that's why we have a plugin called um server authen authen oh, damn it, authentication um Security, yeah, SAS. yeah, SAS security. So uh, that uh, plugin, like, so there's two separate lists, which so that have one list has a bunch of IP addresses, and then the list other list has the names of your friend, which are case sensitive. By the way, I found that out the hard way, but yeah, <laughs> case sensitive. Um, so what it does is. If you're adding a friend to your server and they try to sign in, you tell them to try to sign in once, and then you check the, the IP. Yeah, well, you check the console for your server, and the console will say the person's name, case sensitive, and uh, their IP address. But then it said they were blocked. But from there, you can see what their IP address and their name is, and you add them to the files, the configuration files, and you reload the server, and then your friend can get in. But then if a like griefer try or anybody you don't know tries to get in your server and you know tries to they know your minecraft name and they try to get in and by faking your minecraft name with a crack client they don't have their ip on the list anyway so they wouldn't be able to get in yeah very also very yeah another protection um from that's part of it when the person signs in for the first couple of seconds it will disable all talking and commands because there's a, you know, for those of you that don't know, there is a hack out there that lets people OP themselves on your server. So that disables, you know, the hack goes on for a second, sets you to, sets the hacker to OP and then shuts down. But this blocks all commands and chatting for the first oh. couple seconds. That's really and, good. And then it allows the person to chat and stuff. So yeah, that's everything. So yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like check everything. You guys read all the descriptions and stuff. Um, there, are, yeah. So I don't know what else to say, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys comment about everything and like if you guys can. So yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm dying. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Peace.